Before this video starts, I would like to make it clear that the events of this video takes place on November 20th, 2022. This video should have been released four months ago, so that's why it doesn't take place on the current date. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video. Wow, what a perfect Sunday afternoon to have our first date together. You know, I still can't get over your proposal last night. I know right Ashley. No one to bother us, especially since James Brendan is now in jail. Just the two of us on this glorious day. Say, what activity would you like to do after we finish eating our picnic? I was thinking a nice canoe ride along the river. Then we can see each other more often in a few days, since we have Thanksgiving break coming up shortly. I so can't wait until Thanksgiving break on Wednesday, a break from school, and some quality time with my family. Then on Black Friday, we can go shopping together. Good idea, and also, are you aware that Animator Guy's birthday is coincidentally on Wednesday? I have heard, and I hope he has a great birthday that day. Speaking of which, I am starting to get hungry, let's eat our picnic. Oh fuck no. My bitchy excuse of a daughter is dating that no good troublemaking boy. For God's sake, he is the leader of a fucking troublemaking group, and would just influence her to cause hazards and chaos around Beyond City. I have got to come up with a way to convince Ashley to leave James, but how? I have a brilliant idea. I will go up to Ashley and order her to leave James Brown the motherfucking troublemaking piece of gator shit, and if she doesn't comply, I will give her a brutal punishment day on why she should obey me. And I don't give a fuck if it's child abuse or not, that would teach her to not be a bitch all the damn time. But first, I am going to need some backup in order to execute this plan. Oh, it looks my phone is ringing, I wonder who is calling me. Hello. You have reached Amira Storm and Bianca Star. Hey there Amira and Bianca, this is Janet Gray speaking. I need your help in executing a plan. What is it that you need help with? Well, I saw my stupid bitch of a daughter dating a fucking low-life troublemaker, and I wasn't gonna let that slide. The plan is that I will confront her and tell her to break up with his sorry ass. If she refuses to be obedient, then you two come out. The three of us will give her a brutal punishment day, and as a bonus, the two of you get to kill her in the end. How does that sound to you? Fuck yeah. We will be more than happy to assist you in this plan, I can't wait to her screams of pains, and hearing her pathetic boyfriend crying like a pussy when we take his beloved girlfriend away from him. Good. I am currently located in the countryside, please meet me there in order to pull of this epic stunt. Goodbye. Okay Bianca, be sure to carry all the weapons and sharpen the knives, we have a kill to make. Will do, Amira, I can't wait to get this party started. And just as promised, me and Bianca have arrived to execute this scheme. You came here at the right time, remember now. If she refuses to comply, I will signal the two of you to come out as backup. Anyways, I am gonna confront that girl. Good luck with that. Now that we are finished eating our picnic, say if we go on that canoe ride. Yeah, let's go on our ride. Hey there Ashley, are you enjoying your little date with your sexy toy boy? Um, hey there mom, how may I help you? Don't you fucking hey me young lady. I want you to do me a favor by dumping James Brown for good. What? But why? Because he is a bad influence on you. He is the leader of the tough lions, so you better dump him or I will kill your friends. Oh fuck no. There is no way in hell I am dumping James for a petty reason. He is not even a bad influence at all. And there is no fucking way that you are gonna kill my friends. Yeah. I am not allowing you to harm any of my friends for a retarded reason like that. Besides, how the hell am I even a bad influence, when I clearly care for Ashley? You stay out of this. This is between me and my daughter. No I am gonna ask you one more time, 
either you break up with James, or it's goodbye to your friends. And I said no, why can't you understand that James is my true love, and you are not gonna annihilate my friends, you heartless bitch. Oh. You have asked for it now. Okay girls, you can come out now. Wait, Amira and Bianca are behind this as well. Damn right we are. Your mother asked us to help her give you a punishment day, and I frankly don't blame her, since you are a worthless piece of shit that serves no purpose. Oh my god. You are sick in the head you know that. Teaming up with those two evil sociopaths is beyond fucked up, even for you. Enough chit-chatting, girls, grab her. Hey. What the hell are you two psychopaths doing to me? Hey! You two bitches better get your hands of my girlfriend right now. The fuck you gonna do about it you little pussy? You know what, there is no way in hell I am allowing this to slide. Oh, so the little tough man wants to fight. Oh, so you really wanna fight me? Prepare to get the shit knocked out of. Be my guess, sweetie, but be warned, if I win, you will regret ever fighting me. See what I told you, never mess with Amira Storm, you worthless bastard. You will not get away with this, Amira. Oh whatever. I have heard that over a million times. Speaking of which, let's use dark magic to get out of here. Good idea. Dark, dark magic, magic activate. activate. Oh fuck no. I am not allowing those three criminals to abuse and kill my girlfriend. Hold on Ashley, I am coming. Wake the fuck up you stupid bitch. Okay, first of all, where the fuck are we? And second off, what the hell are you three gonna do to me? Well my dear daughter, me and my accomplices are gonna give you a brutal punishment day for being a worthless piece of shit, and fucking disobeying my orders. Over something so minor, you guys are something else. Oh quit your goddamn complaining already, we're Amir and Bianca, the prettiest bloodthirsty psychopaths in the world. Without further ado, let's get this bloodshed of a party started. First punishment, having me and Bianca burn your ass. Oh my god. It burns so bad. Please stop this right now. Please. Shut the fuck up you stupid bitch. This is what you deserve for being a disgusting vermin. Now suffer. Oh yeah. Keep going girls. Show her no mercy. Show her who is boss. Please stop this already. I am in so much pain. Let us think for a while. No. Now suffer you little piece of shit. Oh hell no. There is no way I am drinking that whole bottle of hot sauce, you fucking bitch of a mom. You better drink every last drop of it, or I'll fucking shove this knife down your throat. Take your pick. Okay. You win, I'll drink the stupid bottle of hot sauce. Just don't shove a knife into my throat. Oh my goodness. The hot sauce burnt so bad, my mouth is on fire. My throat is probably now burnt because of you. Well guess what? I don't give a damn if your throat is burnt or not. This is what you get. Now get ready to receive your third punishment. For your third punishment, you will be locked in a room with a bunch of angry hornets. Oh fuck that. I am getting the hell out of here. Oh that won't be the case. Hey, what the fuck are you doing to me, psycho bitch? hurt so badly. I don't care. Now get your ass off the floor and come with me, and this time, no funny business. And I can guarantee that there are 1000 bees ready to sting your sorry ass. So Bianca, how is it going torturing Ashley? It's going quite well so far, I just shoved her into a room with a thousand angry bees.
Hearing the bitch scream and beg for mercy is music to my ears. Oh my god. Those bee stings hurt as fuck. How could you do this to your own daughter? Oh shut the hell up you pathetic excuse of a human. This is what you get for being a failed abortion. Now get ready for your fourth punishment. Good one right there. She is literally a failed abortion. Look at her. Can't even fight back for shit. I get it. But let's not waste any more time. Fourth punishment, summoning a lion to attack you so badly until you beg for mercy. There is no way in hell I am getting mauled by a lion. Ashley is trying to escape, I repeat. Ashley is trying to escape. Bianca, work your magic. Oh no. A dead end, I am so screwed right now. You bitch your ass you are. You are fucking deranged. I hope you two rot and burn in hell. You better watch your fucking tone around us, and for try to escape, instead of having a lion attack you, we are having both a lion and tiger maul the shit out of you. What? That is beyond fucked up, even for you mom. Why thank you. But that's not good enough to save you from your punishment. Bianca, would you care to do the honors? With pleasure. Dark magic activate. <laughs> Look at the little vermin getting mauled by two wild animals like a little pussy. Oh yeah. This is so going on the internet. Ouch. My entire body hurts so bad. Now I am gonna need medical treatment for this. Wait. Were you recording me getting mauled by a lion and tiger? I just did. And if you look at that, the video already has over 1,000 views. You better delete that video off the fucking internet, you dirty bitch. Oh, no fucking, hmm. You're gonna cry to your mommy about it. Oh wait a second, you have no one to cry to you. Your mother thinks that you are a misused condom and that's the fucking truth. Ha 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 ha. You know what? I have had fucking enough of this bullshit. What the hell do you think you are doing to my phone? How does it feel to get a taste of karma? I hope this will teach you to never bully people again. You fucking retarded bastard. That costed me hundreds of dollars. Now that's all gone to waste because of you. So what? You deserve it for being a bloodthirsty sociopath. Oh. You have just made a mistake that is about to cost your life. Amira, please come out. Oh. So you thought you could destroy Bianca's personal property and get away with it, huh? So what? She deserves to have her phone destroyed, you and Bianca are nothing but menaces to society that like to people's lives a living hell. Shut the fuck up you stupid hoe. You are the one who deserves to suffer, besides, what the fuck purpose do you even serve on Animator Guy's channel? Oh wait. You are too bland to even have a damn purpose. Now prepare to die, holy crap. I hope you get locked away in a mental asylum for the rest of your life. Oh that will never happen. Any last words before we mutilate you to threads? You know, I have been waiting for this moment for a very long time now. It's been forever since I last killed someone. What? Please don't kill me, I am too young to die. Too fucking bad. Girls, get ready to attack. Alright. Who the fuck just broke the door down? You shall not lay another finger on my girlfriend, you freaking jerks. Boy am I glad to see you. I am getting out of this cursed place. Oh hell no. They are not getting away that easily, after them. Holy crap. We have been running for two hours, I hope we lost them. That's what you two lovebirds think. When we catch up to you two, we are gonna dismember both of your asses. Oh no. They are catching up to us. We better fun faster. Holy crap. Stay the hell away from us you psychos. Get the fuck back here. We just want to play with you both. Oh my god. What did I just witnessed? You just witnessed James and Ashley being chased by mom, Amira and Bianca. Ashley is all injured over her face, but seriously, why would mom do that? 
She was never like this. I don't know son, it looks like she just betrayed us by teaming up with Emi Ira and Bianca to abuse Ashley. Wait. What? Amira, Bianca and Janet Grey are about to kill James and Ashley, and by the looks of it, Ashley was kidnapped and abused by those three child abusing fuckers. Why the hell are we just standing here? We can't let those three kill two innocent people like that. You are right, let's give those three a piece of our minds. Oh dear god. I can't run anymore. We need to stop here and rest. Well, well, well. Look how finally decided to make our life easier. Can you please stop following us around? I have suffered enough for one day. Oh man up and get used to it. Janet, do your thing. With pleasure. Hey, let go of me, you sorry excuse of a mother. You are a fucking lunatic. Let go of her. Oh my gosh. Please stop stomping on my lungs. No. This is what you deserve for dating James Brown and for being a brat. <coughs> hey! Get off my daughter right now! Janet, what the hell is your damn problem? Why in the world are you abusing your own daughter? You stay out of this. Ashley is nothing but a fucking bitch face who dates a cancerous troublemaker. Shut the heck up. I don't want to hear a stupid excuse from you. What you did is totally unacceptable. Hey. Quit shit-talking our friend you little brat. So what? She deserves it for betraying us by abusing my older sister for a petty reason, and you aren't any better yourself, you freaking hypocrite. Oh. You have just made the worst move of your shitty life. Any last words before we end your miserable life? Oh my god. What drugs are you even on? Put the gun down. Sweetie. I am Amira Storm, the prettiest bloodthirsty teenage psychopath. Now which one of you fucktards want to die first? Okay, whoever the fuck did that, show yourself this very minute. Whoa, what just happened? I am not too sure, but the only thing that matters right now is that we are alive. Oh? Glad to see that you are alive and unharmed. In terms of Amy I and Bianca by electrocuted, and Janet being knocked out with a rock, I am actually responsible for those incidents. Me and the rest of the Adamantians have witnessed it all, and we weren't gonna let those three sociopaths and Alanastian wannabes murder you guys. Yeah. We were able to see it all, and we striked at the perfect timing. That was a smart move you guys made there. I agree with Adam, if you guys didn't knock them out, we would have been goners. Ashley, are you alright? No. I am not alright, my entire body is burnt, I am in so much pain, and my lungs are probably damaged. I am completely traumatized. I think I need an ambulance right now. Oh my. Well in that case, I think the Adamantiums should take Ashley to the nearest hospital, while me, Mr. Gray, Joseph, Animator Guy 986 and Adam call the police. That sounds like a good idea. It's okay, Ashley, medical treatment is on the way. Say Animator Guy, mind calling the police on those three menaces to society? With pleasure. Nine one one. What is your emergency? Hello. This is Animator Guy zero nine eight six, and I would like to report that Amira, Bianca, and Janet Gray attempted to kill a fourteen year old girl, and they have attempted to kill me and my friends. I am currently located in the countryside. Can you please come and arrest them? Oh my, that sounds very serious. We will be on our way to arrest the three of them. Goodbye. And that's the police called, I hope they have a wonderful time in where they belong, which is jail. Janet, Amira, and Bianca, 
Wake the hell up right now. You guys really thought you could commit crimes and get away with, you three are coming along with us. Fuck. It's the police, we better get the hell out of here. Hold it right there. You guys think you could get away with this? Well you evil child abusing fuckers have another thing coming. We are only going to say this once, and we are not going to say this again. You better come over here right now. Oh hell no. How stupid do you think we are? We ain't going over there just so you can throw us in jail. So go shove a cleaner up your ass. Listen the fuck up, you assholes better comply with what we say or it's the pepper spray in the eye. Chose wisely. Alright alright. You win, fine. We will come over there, just don't pepper spray us in the eye. Amir S. Dorm, Janet Gray, and Bianca Starr, I am arresting you on suspicion of child abuse, assault and attempted to murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense in which you would later rely on in court. Officers, before you take them away to jail, I have something I need to say to my wife. Go on right ahead, but make it quick. I just want to say that starting today, you are no longer welcome in my house to live. We are officially divorcing, and I am taking custody of both Ashley and Joseph. I hope you have fun in jail, you rotten child abuse are. What? Please don't divorce me, I am sorry for what I did today, I promise to be a better mother to Ashley, just give me another chance. Well that's too bad, you should have had second thoughts before teaming up with Emery Ira and Bianca to abuse Ashley. I agree with dad. People like you really disgust me. Officers, get this traitor out of my sight. I can't bear to look at her any longer. With pleasure. Now move your asses along into the police car. No! Good riddance to those psychos. I can't believe they had the damn guts to do all of that crap to Ashley. Say guys. Do you think that we should join James and the Adamantiums at the hospital? Now that you have mentioned it, yes, I think we should visit Ashley at the hospital. I can just imagine how traumatized she is. I agree with all of you. Let's go. This is your cell with no bed, no toilet, no sink, no electronics or privileges of any kind. You'll all be in here for a very long time. The only food that you will be served are lumpy potatoes, raw cabbage, raw eggs, vegetables, prunes, gruel, nuts, and many more disgusting food items that you all hate. And you will not be allowed to leave your cell, unless if it is do your daily chores or to have your meal. We have some important work to do other than wasting our time staring at three criminals like yourselves. Well this is just great. We are stuck in this filthy cell for a long time, with nothing but chores and disgusting food. Not only that, but my family wants nothing to do with me, and worst of all, my husband literally just kicked me out of the house and divorced me as well. I am gonna hate this place so much. I know right guys, karma can be a bitch at times, this is going to be an excruciating experience. And if the three of you don't shut the frick up and stop crying like fucking babies, I will use beyond logic, turn you three into babies and have you humiliated for as long as you live. So doctor, is she gonna be okay? Unfortunately, Ashley has sustained some serious injuries such as third-degree burns, cuts, bruises. But the good news is that her lungs aren't permanently damaged. But unfortunately, she is going to have to stay in the hospital for two weeks. I am sorry, but it is the best way we can properly treat her. Anyways, I will leave you guys some space. Man, this is just great. I am now stuck here for two weeks all because my mom teamed up with Amira and Bianca to give me a brutal punishment day. Amira and Bianca had the nerve to be burn me with their fire powers, 
then mom forced me to drink hot sauce, then Bianca locked me in a room with a bunch of angry bees, then Bianca, Amira and mom summed a lion and a tiger to maul me, then the three of them tried to kill me, but James came in and I escaped, then after we got tired of running, my mom then proceeded to stump on my lungs, and all for a petty reason, all because I took James as my boyfriend, you tell me now. Doesn't that sound so childish for a grown woman in her 40s? Oh my god. What a horrendous act they've done to you. You truly didn't deserve any of what you had to go through. This is almost as bad what Lamar had to endure on his 18th birthday. Mom, I can't believe so much people in the land of beyond are coming out as either child abusers, pedophiles or even hardened criminals. Tell me about it. It's like the person you trust the most turns out to be your biggest rival, especially in this community. Uh, these child abusers really give me a headache. A bigger one than those wretched Ernestums. This reminds me of the time when I had Constance as my foster mother, and what just happened to Ashley is just as deplorable on what Constance did to me for 15 years. Look Ashley, I know it sucks that you have to spend Thanksgiving break in the hospital, but it is the best the doctors can do to properly heal your injuries. Besides, we would ensure to visit you on Wednesday, which is the day of my birthday. Speaking of which, I also have something to give you. No way. Is that a Samsung S22 phone? It sure is. I was planning on giving it to you for Christmas, but because of what happened to you today, I decided to give it to you now. I even have more good news. I kicked your abusive mother out of the house, and I am divorcing her immediately. Thanks for kicking her out of the house. She truly deserves it. Can you also file a restraining order against her? Most definitely. Anyways, it is starting to get late, me and the rest of the adamantiums better head home. But you guys are free to stay here with Ashley. I understand, but anyways, see you all later. So James, I heard that you and Ashley are now dating, what led you into this direction? Well it all started when I met Ashley earlier this year, we became close friends. After some time, I started to develop a slight crush on her, but ever since my cousin committed suicide by drinking a poisonous liquid, Ashley was like an older sister to me that day, even at the funeral at well. So since then, my crush for her grew bigger. Oh man. That really sucks that you lost a family member. But at least Ashley was a true friend to you that day. By the way animator guy, happy early birthday to you when it comes in a few days. Thanks Ashley, I really appreciated that.